Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one going to show you step by step how to remove a background or to isolate a subject or an object. Remove things from the video that you don't want. In this case, I've got a chicken and if I roll through the timeline here, the chicken's doing chicken things. But I want to get rid of all of that green foresty background and just keep the chicken. How do I do it? Nice and simple. Let's go step by step. First step, Go ahead and double click on your video right on the track here. When you do that, it opens up the layer panel. Inside the layer panel, you want to switch to the rotoscoping tool. So this is the roto brush tool. So I've clicked on this icon and then select roto brush tool. Now, you're not going to see a paintbrush icon for all you Photoshoppers, but we are painting. I'm going to go ahead and paint over the area that I want to keep. It's very important that this is the part that I want to keep. Everything that's not painted will be removed. So I'm going to go ahead and if I zoom in, I'll see here that I didn't quite get the front of the chicken like I would have liked. And maybe that beak could use a little bit more work. Okay, presto. Also note that the playhead is at the beginning. So again, this isn't a very long video so and a long uh, clip, but I'm just going to show you the technique. The next thing you want to do, and it's very important, is you want to make sure you grab your playhead and then start moving forward. Go one frame at a time or two frames if you're pretty confident. And what you're looking for is as the video moves, so as my chicken starts to turn its head around, the, I guess right around here, I want to make sure that the purple part is around the part that I want to I want to keep, pardon me, which is the chicken, and it's not outside the line. So as it moves its head, the purple is correct. If it is not, you can go in ahead and repaint as you see fit. And if something, if you want to add, you go ahead and just paint normally like I showed you. If you want to remove, if you hold down the Alt key, you'll see that it went red there. That means you can remove parts. So if I wanted to remove something out here that was selected incorrectly, you can add, you can hit the Alt or the Option key on a Mac. Now I'm just going to slide through this and I'm going to say, hey, you know what? That's done a pretty good job with the chicken. Okay, that's the easy part. Now let's get into the very important part. What you want to do is you want to go to File, Export, and then you want to go to Add to Render Queue. You can do it. I'm going to delete the top one here. You can do it through the Media Encoder, but I like to do it through the Render Queue, and I'll show you why. Here's what you need to do. First step, click on Output Module. It says High Quality. Click on that. You're going to get a whole bunch of different options. I'm currently selected on QuickTime. QuickTime is one of the one one of the codecs that works. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on QuickTime. But here's where you make the changes. First one under Format Options. Click on that. I'm currently on Apple ProRes 422. You don't want that one. You want to go down here to Apple ProRes 4444. What that does is it includes an alpha channel or a transparent channel, and it's critical you have that 4444 or another codec that has an alpha channel. Now click on OK. All right, good. We're still not done. The next step, as you see here under video output, it says channels RGB. That means red, green, blue, which is fine, but we have now an alpha channel. So what you need to do is you got to click on that and you go RGB plus alpha. Now we have the alpha channel. It's in Apple ProRes 4444. Now click on OK. Now all you got to do straight up is render it. So I'm going to go ahead and render this to movies and I'm going to call this Roto Chicken 3. Why not? I don't know if I've got that. It'll save it as a .mov, QuickTime, and then click render. And when I hit render, it's going to remove the background. Watch. There it goes. It's gone. Now all I've got is the chicken. That's how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching.